This procedure was performed on a patient who was 12 years post-mastectomy. She had had a gastric bypass one year prior to this surgery and lost 75 pounds. In this first image, we see the subcutaneous side of the abdominal flap after the flap has been resected, but before the pedicle is detached from its native blood supply. Good flow is noted through the artery and the vein within the pedicle, and a perfusion is seen throughout the surrounding tissue. This image gives the surgeon verification that the artery and vein chosen to supply the flap are indeed viable vessels that are adequately perfusing the entire flap. This image was taken several minutes after the previous image, looking at the flap from the skin side. The camera was positioned over the distal tip of the flap, and we see the subdermal plexus fill out to the skin edge. Again, this gives the surgeon reliable proof that the selected pedicle vessels are providing adequate perfusion to the entire flap prior to resecting the vessels from their native blood supply. This image was taken immediately after the arterial and venous anastomoses were completed in the right axilla. We see brisk filling of the artery and then immediate outflow through the vein. Since venous congestion is a not uncommon complication with flap reconstructions, this image serves to verify not only that the anastomoses are intact, but also that inflow and outflow are appropriately comparable. This image was taken at the end of the procedure immediately prior to applying the dressing. Here we see two Wexel sponges laying on the flap pointing toward the incision line. Again, we see brisk filling of the subdermal plexus throughout the flap as well as simultaneous fluorescence into the surrounding skin. This was of particular interest to the surgeon as a way of verifying no delay in perfusion to the newly reconstructed breast. 